<laughs> while we're here, like yesterday? No. No? What how, What was that yesterday, by the way? So... No one knew, no one knew it was TJ. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, no when we're doing the media it. call, we're doing the media yeah. call, right? And then we were sitting there, and before we jumped on, Lene told me that it's gonna be me, he received on the call. And then they'll do another 30 minutes, and they'll do TJ and Cody, right? And so when we're doing that, I'm sitting there, and this guy goes, hey, what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. First question's for TJ, and I'm like, this guy wasn't listening. <laughs> it's just me and Harry Cejudo on here. And he's like, oh, TJ, you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. TJ, are you there? TJ are there and nobody chimed in to say something like I don't I, teacher's not here. Like I said, from my point of view, well I was told that it was just me and Harry Sudo. So I'm sitting there, I'm like sitting there with my buddy Rick and I'm like I'm gonna fucking do it. And I was like, yeah man, you know what? I feel just went with it and so it was just fun. That's how it was. You you sold it well because no one thought no one knew it was you. Yeah, I know. That just shows you how much he pays attention. But then again, who knows? I mean Demetrius, what's this nonsense about you fighting twice and calling it a career, man? That's that's horrible advice. That was, uh, see, that's the thing about an embedded series, is that you guys are going to get to see the full uh, context of the whole situation. Uh, but, yeah, it was just my uh, brother-in-law gave me a little advice. Um, and it was good advice if you guys hold the whole story. Um, but, yeah, it was just him giving a little advice. Well, that's not even a remote possibility, right? No, no, no. I mean, if, if the price tag was what he said, it, it could be. But, uh, like I said, they cut that out. You, you, you talk a lot about super fights that people ask you about. You always Over say, it. But you always say the money. I mean, is there any part, you know, if you said, if I get paid right, I'll go do it. But is there any part of you that feels like, no, nope. nah, I don't even care about money. I want to show the world. No. Nope. No. Nope. There's don't, no, no pride, don't. no. I get beat up by Mad Hume all the time. So for me, having pride, it gets taken away. I train with killers, you know. My, my training partner, James Yang, he lights me up on the feet. Uh, Mad Hume, he can put me through a grinder of submissions. So until I get beat that man, then I know I'm the truly the best in the world. But, like I said, I have no pride. You know, I'm just a man trying to make this money and take care of my family. But you know, you're in the conversation is one of the greatest ever. And there's some people who say, well, that would prove he is the greatest ever if he does it in another division. Yeah, but then they'll, then they'll say something else. Then they'll say something else. So that, like I said, I don't put a lot of stock in that whole talk because, you know, like DC, I'm, I'm happy for him. He's finally got that double champ. But for me, I had him in my book already as one of the greatest ever to do it. In my book. So. For me, when people are like, oh, you gotta do just to, to, just to get. <laughs> Fans seem very upset about this, though, that you're not taking the, the Dillashaw fight. Fans are upset. I don't know if you see the comments uh, on social media. But people are gonna be happy. upset. People are gonna be upset. So it doesn't bother you at all? Nope. Why do you think people is always asking you to do something else to be in the greatest conversation? Like, I, I don't know. It almost puts, uh, it's put a sour taste on my mouth, but it's almost like. Okay. Next question. Is there anyone you <laughs> that's, that's how I feel. Is there anyone you haven't faced that you want to face? Uh, I want to. I want to fight all the guys in my division. You know, we got new guys coming up. You know, Sergio Pesso good his last fight. Uh, you got uh, Shorty Torres. He's in here now. Um, shoot, Kyojo Horiguchi's in Rising, tearing things up. Uh, so that's there's there's lots of guys out there. But for me, I'm just. Focus on going one fight at a time. Do you want Horiguchi back? I mean, that was, that was if, if if I would no, because he's making he's making good money from what I hear in Ryzen. So, but like if I was to like go out and collect all the belts, now that's something that's like okay, I've proven that I'm the best to go. If I was to go to one championship, win the flyweight division there, go to Ryzen, win the flyweight division there, and then go like the Bellator and fight in 35, 25, win the belt there. Now I'm like okay, now this now this speaks this speaks volume. I don't think that's happening, but do you think you can Well, I know, I know, I know, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, like, like, could you tell Dana, like, go get that guy and bring him to me? Go no, get because, that guy and bring because him to it, me. it wouldn't be that, you know, it wouldn't be that different belt. Like, right. in consideration, I have 11 consecutive title defenses. Like, they all look exactly the same. So for me to have every unique looking belt around the world, that's what gets me excited, if you really want to know. That's where it's like, ooh, I have that. You have, my, you, you have me interested now. Would you ever like sacrifice the money or like to go actually go do that then? Uh, if I was single and I had no kids and wife, <laughs> yeah, I would, but uh, I'm not in that boat anymore. What's the dollar figure that gets you in the door for the dinner? Right, we're not talking about that anymore. Right. Next question. Let's talk about this fight. What do this you man's fucking smart. You guys will learn something from this guy. We're there trying to go. sell this fight. One at a time, right? Let's yes. talk about Henry and what you expect to see different from him this time and how much better he is. Yeah, so Henry Cejudo, he's had uh, you know, two years to you know, get some more fights on his belt. He's fought uh, Joseph Benavides, Sergio Pettis, and uh, Wilson Hayes. So he looks better. He looks more patient, more calm about the way he goes about his fights. But 
the thing, the difference between me, Sergio, and Wilson Hayes are two different beasts. You know, Sergio is a stand-up guy. Wilson Hayes is a grappler. It's where I can mix both those things in very well. What's fight week like for you now, Demetrius? With, with, with as many times as you've done All this? you guys nagging me about stupid stuff <laughs> and, and questions. Are you getting, I mean, what's your emotion like? Do you get excited? Do you get nervous anymore? Is, is, I mean, what's it like for you? No, it's still the same. You know, it's, it's fun. You know, I have a good time. But, you know, literally it's just, uh, you know, media obligations. And I go back to my room, eat when I can, play some video games, and then go train, more video games, and chill. I know you talk about being self-motivated, but, I mean, is there ever any chance that you could get complacent? I mean, do you ever go, like, dude, I've been smoking everybody. Maybe I don't need to do that second workout. Maybe I can take a day off today, man. I have beat everybody. Nope. Just keep on working out. Keep on training. Now that you don't have like that, you know, you already beat the Anderson Silva record to the title defense. How, do you know how many you want to go? Or like keep us going to this body would die. Just keep on going. To the wheels fall off. Have you looked at Anderson's streak at all? Like, have you watched like any of his fights when he was on that that crazy streak and you know try to see what he did or, or anything like that? No. No. Just kept it myself. You guys see I go home and study fights and do all this stuff, like literally when I'm at home and I'm not getting ready for a fight or even, I don't even talk about fights. You come to my house, you won't see one picture of me in the wall, you won't even see my belt. So like for me, this is my job and you know, I love to do it. I come out here and I fight and I put on you know great performances, but then once it is, I don't sit there and think about, oh man, he had a fantastic career, oh man, John Bones Jones, I can't believe he gets back. I, don't, I mean, there's probably when it does, but at the same time it's not, like I would say MMA is probably like 20% of my life and the rest is... 80% is like my family video games and then just hanging out. It's like if a plumber comes over, like fix your bathroom, they all have no idea that you're a UFC fight. No they idea. No <laughs> the last one goes, man, so his story, a guy came over and he goes, man, this is a beautiful house, man, what do you do? I was like, I create content. He goes, really? And I was like, yeah, I create content. He's like, what type? I was like, well, I'll play video games and, you know, uh, video game companies like Ubisoft or, you know, Halo, 343 Studios will reach out to me and I'll create some content and that's how I make my money. He goes, good for you, man, good for you. Oh, you have a nice day, Mr. Johnson. Like, <laughs> Are you as passionate about nice that question. stuff as you are about, about fighting? What, what, yeah, what's like a percentage? Well, well, so it's a difference. I'm passionate about learning about mixed martial arts and growing and, you know, getting better and my skill set. Um, to where like with the fight and all the obligations and all that stuff, it's, it's just too, it's a fine line, right? You know, because this is, you guys look over that clickbait, da 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 and he said this, and twisted words, da 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 How do you do it for, you know, since 2011, and you see these articles, you see people say this and that, and it's like, dude, I'm over it. You can never please everybody in the world. So now that's why, you know, my video game, it's a different type of passion because it, there's no way you can twist somebody's words with, you know, video games, so it's hard to say. Good. Right. Thanks, guys. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.